changed his life, his father's life, but how it changed his grandmother's life. And grandpa. And grandpa. <laughs> and uh, we're going to do a few more interviews, but this is what I'd like you to do. If you'll watch the credits at the end of the show, and you have anyone that really needs help in hearing impaired problems, I want you to write our show. You'll see our name and our number, or call us, and we'll put you in contact with the House Ear Institute, and they'll get information out to you that you can read to see what can be done for you if you have a problem with someone in your family who really needs some help in hearing. And uh, we'll go on a few more interviews, but I want you to see these two particular people who've inspired so many people are here today, and of course, Bob Hope, who you're going to see also. Well, every good golf dinner needs somebody up there on the dais, and uh, <laughs> even though we have America's favorite entertainer, we also got Tom Parks here, who's going to take the dais tonight at the dinner. And uh, you're no stranger to doing these charity events, are you, Tom? No, I'm not. You're no stranger to Norm Crosby. <laughs> Norm Crosby. Right. Yeah, Norm is uh, like uh, a buddy, and mm -hmm. he saw me at one of these uh, golf events and got me some big work, and really? I owe him uh, an, an enormous debt. Uh, and it's one of the things that, um, well, it's not just show folk that do this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was starting to say that entertainers seem to give a lot back to charity. Uh -huh. But all the people here, everyone yeah. here that has come, has given of their time and, and of their money to participate in this charity event. And it's really to be commended. Right. Well, it's uh, different. It, the best part is a fun day at golf. Oh, and an incredible golf course. Yeah. We played on a terrific golf course today. This was mm. uh, really great, although... Uh, I, I'm, I wasn't playing golf. I was on some kind of nature hike. <laughs> you saw every bit of nature. Oh man, I did. <laughs> I did, and you know, you know how they say in, in my foursome. You know, somebody else would hit, and there'd be right. this course of, ooh, good shot. <laughs> oh, that's a good shot. Oh, that's long. Oh, then I'd hit, and right. there'd be. That's right. Uh, that'll was, play. Wait a minute. Uh, well, yeah. No, you get that'll play. No, oh, just, we were here, it was death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you thought oh, your whole group was Right, down. exactly. <laughs> or you'll hear something like, oh, it opens up over there. <laughs> oh, thanks, yeah. Or sounded good. Yeah, thank you. Now, you know, uh, you've been on the Carson Show. I have been on the Tonight yeah. Show, both with Johnny and mm -hmm. with Jay, which is mm -hmm. uh, sort of the legend. Uh, it was really great. And uh, you've done your own HBO special. Uh-huh. Did one of the one-night stands. Uh, mm -hmm. We shot it in Chicago. Very fun to do. Mm -hmm. uh, did a Showtime special. I, I have one of those careers where I get a lot of people, you know, mm -hmm. your, your people in the audience are going to be sitting out there. I get a lot of people coming up to me going, did we go to school together? <laughs> They're not quite sure how they know you. And, right. You know, but it's uh, it's been fun. I've been doing it 20 years, so it's been great. You know, the worst part is he's done all these shows, but he's got to stand up in front of Bob Hope and be funny. Oh, man. How, how did you, that happen? How Bob do you Hope, play to this? Bob Hope is sitting right behind me. Right behind me. And, and this is an incredibly tense moment in my life. I don't know. I mean, it's... Uh, you people are meeting sort of a comedy legend. Right. I'm meeting the guy I admire for tw <laughs> the reason I'm doing this. Uh, so, yeah, it's it really is sort of tense. Uh, yes. You know, I, I'm going to tell you a little story. You think it's tough to, to play to him? I grew up three houses away from Bob Hope. You, you did? And not This only, Bob Hope? This Bob Hope. <laughs> and not only do I have three houses, I'm going to tell you a little story. Okay. He tells a story of me he's used in his act for 40 years. You've been used in Bob Hope's act? And for 40 years. I'm going to tell you that story just in a second. And every time he sees me, he kind of relates to that story he tells about me. So when I come and sit next to him and talk, he looks at me, and all of a sudden he's ready to tell the joke again. And this joke he told. Now, he says it's true. My mother says it isn't. But this is how it goes. Uh -huh. When I was whining as a small kid, my mother used to say to me, shh, be quiet, you're going to wake up Bob Hope, he's sleeping. And this went on every time she wanted me to shut up and go to bed as a young kid. I'm talking about a two-year-old, three-year-old. So one day I'm watching television and Bob Hope is on and he just happens not to really be good that night. And my mother's watching him, seeing what the problem is, and, I, and she says something to the fact that Bob isn't really on tonight. So I looked at my mother and I said, shh. Bob sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> now, he has retold that story for 40 years. Right. You know, and now when he sees me, I look at him and he always says to me, I'm wide awake. I'm wide awake. <laughs> so you can imagine being the blunt of this joke for he 40 years. He is so remarkable. He's sitting there signing books. Right. I mean, he's, he's just incredible. Well, we have him on our show, and, you know, this is the second time Bob Holmes appeared with us. And he, uh, we brought him uh, to our audience uh, just about 
three months ago from the uh, Nixon Library, where we did a, a show with the Eisenhowers and Bob Hope, and the library informs us there was over 300 calls l looking to find a copy of the show. And uh, he brings those people out. And I want to tell you something. Now that we have a third person here, many of you have saw in the tabloids all these stories about Bob Hope being out of it. They show him in the worst light. They have all these stories about he doesn't know what's going around this around him. This is the second time we visited with Bob in the last three months. Right. The first time he sat in the library and signed for two and a half hours yeah, over a thousand books. He's been sitting here for an hour signing books. Signing a long books, line of people. Talking just to everybody. Incredible. Yeah, just incredible. And you know, we're so happy to let you see this. The real Bob Hope is still active. He's making well, appearances every two weeks. It's not what you see in the tabloids, and you're going to see it right here on this show. Now, you have created quite a treasure house of um, legends That's on this show. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, you've had Milton Berle on. Yeah, 175 stars in the last six months. And and a lot of comedy. Yes, I mean, honestly, I can't do it off the top of my head, but I'll, I'll give you this, and I'm going to I don't know, do something else for the audience. Yeah. I'm going to show He's a roll. He's doing this just for you. Just for you. You're going to roll it now? No, we're going to roll it at the end of the show. Oh, man. Okay. And we're going to roll a tape, and I'm going to show you some of the people who have been on the show. Just little quick clips? Quick clips. Oh, and man. And this is your contest. You get a pencil and paper now. Uh-huh. Go and get it now. You'll see our name and number at the end of the show. And uh -huh. for those of you who can write down everyone you see on the clip, you send it in. And we will take you to another star studded event with us on the show. We'll oh, put wow. you in that event if you can name everyone you're going to see in the clip. And where do they send their entry to? At the end of the show, you'll see the credits little, to Platinum Entertainment, the uh -huh. production company. Send it to Platinum Entertainment at that our, address. At that address. It's okay. in Newport Beach, and you'll see a phone number there, too, if you kind of miss it. Uh -huh. And if you can write down every person you see, and I don't care how many win, we'll take you to a star-studded event. Now, to answer your question, this is just a partial list of just stand-up comedians. Yeah. Milton Berle. Wow. Mickey Rooney, who is a great comedian person. Norm. Norm Crosby. Yeah. Jack Carter. Red Buttons. Steve Allen. Uh, John Biner. Shecky Green. Uh, Billy Crystal. Robin Williams. John Levitz. Bob Meyer. Uh, boy, I can just keep going on and on. I should Bu just. Buddy Hackett. I should just leave. Harvey Coleman. <laughs> Yeah. And, of course, our director wants me to tell you about Beverly D'Angelo. Oh, she's a fine stand-up comic. <laughs> Listen, Thank you for getting night, her name in. Because a lot of Stoggins. people forget her. A lot of people don't recognize yeah. what Tracy a great stand-up comic. Tracy was on last night. Tracy was on? <laughs> From the Emmy Awards with us. Another good stand-up comic. But uh, we just went on and on and on. And, uh, probably of the 175, I'd say at least 40 stand-ups yeah. of very big yeah. people have been on. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when you're, when you're stuck in the thing, but if you'll see the clips, you'll see at least 20 of the stand-up comedians in the clips. Yeah. Okay, and just yeah. write down and send in. You send and in. And you go. And you will go these. with us to one of the big events, and I promise you at least 15 stars at the event I'm going to take you to. So hang in there. We're going to put another not, one on the road. not just like me. These are like big stars. These are like <laughs> people that you like know their names. <laughs> Can you believe this? Listen, he's he unfortunately has to get up not in front of this crowd because he does this normally. It's not a big deal, but he's got to do it in front of Bob Hope. Oh come on! Oh man! Oh man! Yeah, I, I'm getting I'm, I'm tight. I am I'm all tight. We're putting him in this location. Thank so you. hey, thanks for being with Listen, us. And thank one, you for having me on. One other thing. Yes. It isn't just hearing impaired you help. You've also helped. Other charities, well, diabetes? I'm, I'm largely involved with the American Diabetes Association. Right. Now, and this is a point I want to make. Mm -hmm. I have diabetes, so it's a personal thing, and it's mm -hmm. why I got involved with the American Diabetes Association. I'm always impressed with the people who get involved who don't have a personal involvement with the, the mm -hmm. charity. And there's a lot of people like that here. They're here because friends ask them to come, and they're doing it because they recognize that it's a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. And it's why these charities can exist, and it's why it's so important to have have the, the network of friends that mm -hmm. come out and support this. So to everyone mm -hmm. that comes out, they should be Good. congratulated for what they do because it's so important. It's a, hard to get government funding these days, right. and the private sector is where the money comes from. And mm -hmm. it's these people who selflessly give up their time and money to come do this. So they're to be congratulated. Right. We've got a crowd coming in now. There's a silent auction going yeah. on. And of course, everyone's getting their books Yeah, we should be Bob. quiet because the silent auction is going on. <laughs> anyway, we don't want Bob no, mad at no, us. No, we don't want yeah, Bob. Yeah. Okay. Take you on to another one. Okay.
Maybe I'm old fashioned, feeling like I do. Maybe I am living in the past. But when I meet the right one, I know that I'll be true. My first love will be my love. When I fall in love, it will be forever. First of all, I was there uh, a number of years ago, and uh, as the house started to shake, I came running out. I thought it was an earthquake. And when I looked up, President Nixon's helicopter was right above our house, moving over to your backyard, where it landed. And when I ran over, saw Kelly and jumped into the backyard to see what was going on, it was you, President Nixon, Jimmy Stewart, and Fred McMurray. Do you remember that day? Right took the golf cart over to Lakeside? Well, yeah, we went over and played. Then we came back and, and he, he landed in my backyard. Right. And he got in the backyard and he got in the plane and flew down on the coast. That's what I call a heck of a parking lot, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now, let me ask you a couple of questions. There's a couple of things. I was talking to David Eisenhower and wasn't it true that really President Eisenhower was really the first who made golf a presidential sport that everyone really watched? Because he was a technician, wasn't he, when he played golf? Oh, yeah. First to make what? To, to make it really a presidential sport. I mean, it became in vogue for the president to play golf. I think so. Openly. And uh, what was it like playing with Eisenhower? With huh? Ike? What was it like playing golf with Ike? Oh, I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a good, good, good player. and. You know, as you say, he played like a pres real president. Right. Uh, did you get a chance to play golf with Kennedy? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I don't think I did. Yeah. No. But, but but your buddy Gerald Ford was probably you played with the most. Yeah. Yeah. If uh, if you were to rank some of the golfers now, would you say Gerald Ford was? Uh, Really, maybe the most personable on the golf course. Who? Uh, Gerald Ford. Yeah. You know, he's really a crowd pleaser now, isn't he? Yeah. Right. What do you uh, now? Let me ask you this, because I mean, everyone is really kind of knowing. Next year for the golf for your golf tournament down in the desert, uh, are you going to swing a club for everybody there? Hmm. Are you going to swing a club for everybody for your golf tournament oh, coming sure. up? Oh sure. Oh sure. There? Well, I think that what you've done is just milled the myth, because last time we visited with you at the library, you spent two and a half hours signing books for everybody. We have a large line for you to sign right now, so we're going to let you go to it. Sure. And uh, you got a whole crowd waiting for you, so thank you for spending some time with us. Okay, okay. Thank you, Bob. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. We've had a great time today here at this golf tournament for the House Ear Institute. We were able to bring you for the second time Bob Hope. And believe me, we've enjoyed so much having him here. He's been here over two hours signing autographs. Shortly, they're going into a live auction and into a great dinner. But you've seen it here, Bob Hope. I don't care what the tabloids say. The guy comes out every two weeks for another charity, spends hours on time. He's bright as can be. He's 94 years old. And we've lucky enough here on On the Town with Mike Farah to show him twice to you in the last three months. Now watch that credit roll and wait for all the stars that are going to come on and write us and if you can tell us how many stars and what their names are on that roll, we'll take you to another star studded event ourselves. You'll be there in person with us. So thank you for joining us. Next week's another big show. Tons of stars. And until then, remember, today you are On the Town with Mike Farah.